Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. A couple of days ago, one of the subscribers to my videos said that um, he was finding my uh, using a script um, made it difficult for him to digest what um, I was saying. And he encouraged me to try to uh, uh, go, quote, off script to uh, in, a, in a couple of in a, in a video. And I did one yesterday um, on how a sad person, that is me, manages to avoid the sadness uh, devolving into deeper sadness, but just mild sadness. And so I did one. And it got uh, an unusual number of views and uh, likes. Uh, so I figured I would try it again. This one, and again, no script, no preparation, just um, my best thoughts. And the topic in this one is accepting that which we can change. That's the serenity prayer, God grant me the wisdom to, uh, uh, to know what I can change, what I can't, and to, and to know the difference. So, like many people, I am um, obsessed, especially as I get older and see my own time on this earth, uh, the, hour, the, the hourglass growing ever, uh, the sands are growing ever faster, uh, to try to make as much of a difference as I can. That's, that's for me, that's, that's what the, the significance of that, those sands of the hourglass going faster is. Um, but having to make peace with that which I can change. Um, so first I guess I'll start with the with the obvious, which is I can't control my aging beyond you know very basics. Um, as I said in a previous video, uh, I don't believe in dieting. My efforts at dieting, I'm like 98% of the population. Uh, I lose it and then I gain it back and more, and that is not healthy. So I, um, um, you know, I'm accepting that I am you know roughly 20 pounds overweight and probably always will be, and I eat moderately and just accept it. Um, I don't like my aging. I don't like my wrinkles. I don't like my baldness. Uh, you know, I don't like uh, my growing little pot belly. Um, but I can't seem to do about it. So in the end, my solution is just really distraction. And it is not, doesn't work perfectly, but it works pretty well. Um, but on a more macro level, which is what I want to really focus on here, there are things that I find really troublesome and, to be honest, could make me very angry if I let it. At my core, I believe that the world is best, ultimately, if we only allow merit to determine our the way in which we allocate resources. Who we admit to college, who we hire, who we promote, where government dollars should be distributed to the least among us or those with the greatest potential to profit. We have moved, in my judgment, to a society in which merit is pushed further to the back of the bus and uh, other factors like race, gender, uh, sexual orientation, uh, poverty, uh, our determinations of where our resources in both the government sector, the nonprofit sector, and even in our voluntary efforts that corporations and we as individuals do, whether it be corporate foundations or we, who, how we choose, what charity we, we choose to give to. We are focusing on, as the New Testament would say, the least among us. And I believe, while those are short-term feel-goods, that long-term, the world is better when we allocate resources based on who has the greatest potential to improve humankind. And very often, that is not the least among us. Um, but I can't change that. We are in a tidal wave now in which this move to redistributing to the have-nots has accelerated. And anybody who dares question it is deemed you know, uh, racist, sexist, uh, elitist, cold-hearted, mean-spirited, um, the redistributionists have wonderful, they, you know, they have weaponized words that, uh, um, uh, and they've taken control over society's mind control vehicles, that is the colleges and the media. So uh, very few people are ending up able to defend meritocracy. It's almost somehow in an Alice in Wonderland way, merit, merit is, is somehow viewed as a negative. I have to accept that. It makes me very unhappy. I believe, for example, that 
white and Asian men have been, are increasingly treated worse than they deserve to be on the merits. And I've made some, written some articles to make that case and have gotten me nowhere other than censured, censored, uh, and downright fired from major publications as a writer. I have come to accept that I can't stop a tidal wave with, with a thimble. That's who I am. Marty Nemco is a thimble. It's a tidal wave, this move toward redistribution. So I have learned to just, when I see the endless number of things come across my inbox, uh, and even things like pictures, when you look at pictures of you know, in seemingly apolitical ads or articles or whatever, if it's a neutral or a positive figure, it's disproportionately a woman or a person of color. If it's a bad guy, uh, it is a guy, and it's almost always a white male. That slowly, on you know, it, it chips away at, at at merit when one ethnic group, when it's all about the ethnic group or the gender that determines what we see as good and bad. That can't be good in terms of curing diseases wise leadership in our government or in corporations or in small companies and simply in terms of our friends whom we, we tend to spend most of our efforts talking about when i go to a party all i hear about is people falling over themselves to do what's called virtue signaling focusing on their all of their their time their money their intellectual abilities their efforts their thoughts on redistributing to you know how can i help the least among us that's everybody's falling over themselves to to both do those things and to talk about those things. But I can't stop that. So I end up just really, in the end, distracting myself. It's, you can see it in my voice. If you watch my videos, you, never, you see I'm, not, I'm rarely as impassioned as I am right now. But I've found that you know, I can't do anything about it. So I do end up distracting myself by doing little things, like um, I do breed roses, and this is politically correct, that are genetically immune to disease don't need to be sprayed, and I have many that are not commercially viable, and um, I would otherwise throw them out, and I just give them away free to friends, my career counseling clients, I post on my uh, the little, um, I have a little uh, online forum for my block, and I simply offer free seedlings, and I come over and plant them, and I just do little things, and I, you know, as corny as it sounds, I try to do little random acts of kindness that are not major redistribution efforts, but just try to do nice things to anybody, uh, for anybody. And then uh, other things I, uh, I think I'll stop there. So in the end, accepting what we can change is really a matter of two things. Distracting yourself from the things you can't change, lest you get angry or despondent and then focusing on the things that we can change which are small and that's you relatively small which is in my judgment using your best skills mine tends to be thinking on my feet whether it be verbally or in writing uh, in the service of things you can change so I write about and talk to you about things little things you can do to improve your life career wise attitude wise whatever and just focus on that and um, and I guess continuing, although I'm an atheist, continuing to evoke these these religious um, uh, sources um, to to focus to be grateful. Uh, I'm not a Christian, but the you know the notion of gratitude, which is a very New Testament Christian oriented uh, um, exhortation, is a good one because while there is a lot that's bad we can see in the world without any question. But there is good too. There are good people. We're all on a continuum, so nobody's pure good or pure evil. But looking for the good in people you can, and when there's too much bad, just locking them out of your life. And the good that exists in the world, and that's why I kind of I like uh, flowers. They are amazing. And I'm not talking about the nature of wildflowers, which are fine, but hybridizers have worked for sometimes hundreds of hundreds of years. The the, the Cordis family. Um, has been breeding roses for hundreds of years to create gorgeous roses of beautiful form that don't get disease uh, and that we can buy for, for you know, 10 bucks uh, in, a, in a big box store or whatever. 
uh, finding joy in those simple things or clouds scudding by. Clouds are the one, one of the most beautiful things in the world and watching them scud by is amazing. Um, and the miracle of growth, whether it be a baby or planting a seed as I do every year, whether it be my seedlings that I from my rose breeding or tomatoes uh, that I grow every year, it's amazing. Uh, I search those catalogs in January to find the highest rated tomatoes or the ones that I've grown in the past that are awesome, like orange peruche, which I get from Park Seed, fantastic. Um, and seeing it grow from a seed to within two months, these may or three months, um, these just delicious tomatoes that you can't grow, you can't get in a supermarket, the miracle of growth. So that was my thoughts. I think I'll summarize again. So the, the theme of this is how do we accept that which we can't change? At the micro level, I mean, and it all comes down to distraction. Distraction about the individual things in our own lives we can't change. That I'm bald, I'm not going to wear a hairpiece, that's not who I am. Uh, or aging, all we can do is within reason. I don't smoke, I drink modestly, uh, I eat moderately, and try to keep my stress down, even though I'm an anxious person by nature. And just then at that point, stop thinking about death and dying. You know, you can go to therapy all, you, all your life, and too often all that does, it makes you think top of mind, keep top of mind all your fears. So I just, you know, for me, suppression, distraction works very well, whether I'm talking about that individual, uh, individual things that I can't change, or the societal. As I said, I believe profoundly that society is moving in a direction against merit and in favor of making decisions of resource allocation based on factors not related to merit, which ultimately will create a worse society with worse products, worse services, worse leadership, uh, worse health care for all of us. Uh, anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I do welcome your, uh, down below this video, you can see there's a thumbs up or thumbs down, your thumbs up or your thumbs down, whatever you deem is appropriate. Um, comments, as long as they're respectful, I certainly don't mind if you disagree. Uh, of course, I welcome agreement, you know, and uh, there's also a share button, which so it enables you to share on social media. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.